Hello, I am uh, Dr. Thompson Akwantuba, or the Reverend Dr. Thompson Akwantuba. And may I continue to speak to you on the subject of Dominion Recovery. Now I've been speaking to you on restoration, on restoration. I have uh, told you that restoration is very important because every time that somebody is lost, they have to be rescued and maybe where they, 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 they were lost, they were not eating well or things like that and they may have health problems or maybe they were beaten by serpents or things, you know, they need to be healed and then to be restored to their families or to their homes. The same principle and the same thing applies with the lost, as with the lost, as the Bible says that Jesus Christ of Nazareth came to restore that which was lost. So we see that God created man as we are, we are known in, or told in Genesis. And man was given a dominion mandate. And when Adam and Eve were deceived and there was a fall, that fall was translated and inherited by all those who came through that line. And God made a way of escape by sending Jesus Christ of Nazareth to come to restore man to the place where man fell to that which man lost. That's why the Bible says Jesus came to restore that which was lost. And what did man lose? Man lost dominion. And when Jesus came, Jesus restored man back to dominion. To a dominion relationship with God. And that's why the Bible says we operate in high places with Christ Jesus. We sit at the right hand of God the Father Almighty, from where He makes intercession for the saints. Now, as I've been telling you, the, the message of Jesus, who was a messenger of God Almighty was the kingdom and it's already a consummate kingdom in terms of our Christian spiritual consciousness because Jesus said the kingdom is in you and the kingdom has come so in the word kingdom which I, I call a compound word which is multiple words in one we have king and dom or dominion, the king's dominion. That's why the Bible says that we are joined heirs with Christ. So when you are restored, you are taught about kingdom living, kingdom prince uh, uh, authority, or the believer's authority, and kingdom business. There's a way that you do business. Though you are in the world, you are not of the world, as a kingdom member. And then we talk about justice, and the legal system that you now operate with. And then love in family, friendship, and fellowships. So as I continue to teach on these principles, as I continue to elaborate on them, I want you to understand very well, because there have been a lot of emphasis on the church. The church is a traveling boat or ship that is taking you into the kingdom. Yes, Jesus was going to build his church and the gates of Hades was not going to